Hey guys, and welcome back to Outbreak. When we last left off, we made it deeper, duper into the labs. So, let's continue. Let's put our shotgun shells back before we do anything. And I was going to sort this little mess of an uh, item box out. And then I completely forgot about it. Because, hey, that's how I roll. So we just do that, and that, and that will do for now. Uh, let's put the shotgun shells back. I guess we probably um we want to save it I don't think we really need to save it let's reload the magnum We've got six shells well six rounds in that thing now there we go right that will do really don't like the delay uh between opening the actual bloody box up uh, well, pushing the button and the box actually like opening up, there's about a second and a half delay until that actually happens, which is really annoying. Uh, okay, All right, let's keep exploring. Come on, Lydia, let's go. Let us see what we can see. We got loads of hang and runs. Did we read that? Ah. They're immune to fire. Pauline found that, uh, out about it the other day. The decomposition somehow provides a natural flame retardant. If anything, it makes them even more dangerous. But it's wrong to say they're immune because they do burn. But the chemical changes seem to stop the burning from actually breaking down their cellular structure. The epidermis catches fire and the flame holds but it never reaches their innards. We started doing trials with blowtorch blowtorches thinking it couldn't spread that fast we were wrong the second she began to spray it the flames jumped up and she was consumed i can still hear the screaming oof oof indeed right well that's the way we came so we need to keep moving this away still can't get used to the way lydia runs and walks it's just it's really weird Oh, oh shit. Well, this is awkward. We have stumbled into one of these bloody Muhammad, I'm hard, Bruce Lee chaps. Oof. Right, let's see. We can just riddle this guy with bullets. Come on, Lydia. You can do it. Okay. Luckily. Okay, luckily these guys are pretty bloody easy to avoid, I say, as I aimlessly walk into a freaking zombie corpse for about seven hours. Run. Yeah, the saving grace with these things is they are just so slow. They are so slow. Although they kind of, the way they just slide around is kind of amusing. God. Keep running, keep running. You, you kind of get stuck on everything. We need some like Laurel and Hardy music or some shit. Right, okay. Yep. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, that actually did really hurt too. Ass. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we got a crit there. I don't think we get criticals very often with the uh, assault rifle. But that's okay. We've got so many bullets. <sighs> I wonder if that laptop controls the gas vents. Uh, I'm going to say probably, Lydia. That certainly would be my guess. Man, that thing was an absolute unit. So do we actually have any ammo in this room apart from what we found on the floor? Which admittedly was a lot. Doesn't look like it. The gas vent blocking the exit hallway should be off now. I should head back to where I started. Yeah. At least that guy is dead. I like it when they're dead. Kind of makes me feel a little bit more comfortable around these parts. Now, I think this is the trigger. Yeah. We've got tons of enemies every bloody where now. All right. 
Let's go grab some equipment. Get ready to move the hell out of here. Uh, oh. Did someone leave more supplies here? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What's that? More and more fluid. Yeah, it's not the fluid I'm looking at. It's that big... Okay, I guess that's just... Nothing. Right. So, what do we want to take with us? Magnum? Probably a good idea. Um... Boo. Uh... Might be worth taking that as well. Yeah, if need be, I guess we can eat the pills now. That gives us one item slot, I guess. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of this fucking shit show, shall we? Once more with feeling, Lydia. Once more with feeling. Alright, this place looks clear. I need to get the hell out of here. I should keep heading back the way I came. The way I came. Yep, that's the plan, Lydia. That's the plan. Man. Really strange. The way you think? Ah, oh, bollocks. I didn't want to do that. That's fine. Let's go drop the uh, assault rifle back. Yeah, really weird the way you try and aim and lock onto enemies. But if you're more than six feet away, she won't actually lock onto them. It's as if they're not in the room, which is not good. But hey, we'll roll with it. Let's take the shock. Oh, have oh, we got more assault rifle rounds here? What would be better, the shotgun or the assault rifle? Hmm. I guess really. We could take both. Gee, why am I loading up on all these weapons? Uh, you'll see. Uh, should we take... Mm -hmm. Let's keep... No, I think I'll take the assault rifle. The shotgun's good. Oh, it's equipped. The shotgun's good, but... You really are limited with how much ammo uh, you can take. Whereas with the uh, assault rifle, obviously you can you can hold a lot of assault rifle bullets. At least compared to shotgun shells. Now the shotgun probably does more damage. I'll be surprised if it didn't. But it doesn't really feel like it does more damage. That's the thing. Okay, so we've got 20 in there. And I guess... Just for the sake of it, we will take the uh, extra handgun bullets because we're going to use those up. We know that much. Right. Let's get this party wagon moving. Now, from what I can remember, there's definitely uh, a good amount of enemies back the way we came. Like, seriously, man. They really do stuff this area full of enemies now. What do we have? There we got zombies. We can handle the zombies. Ooh. Okay, cool. What does that give us? Nice. Free that up. Uh, sure. Is that all of them? Yes, sir. You need to be careful because, like I say, it's really off putting when you. <laughs> change screen transitions right into an enemy and it happens way too often that was annoying as well the way that she decided to shoot at both of these guys instead of just aiming at one of them okay we're not gonna judge her too harsh all right not bad not bad uh any more well, there's a disc there but we don't really need the disc Let's keep going. I think we've got all the um, books as well, or the files, I think. I don't think there's any actual 100% surefire way of knowing. Yeah, we've got... Oh, see what I mean? I was trying to aim, and they're quiet as well. They don't make any noise. How many of these things followed me down here? A lot, Lydia. A lot. 
for reasons. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know how they're even getting down here. But more than a few have followed us. Some relatively spicy ones a little bit later on as well. Shouldn't have left those sausages in your pocket, I guess. Ooh, big boy. Ooh. Kind of felt like his head just exploded. That would have been a cool thing to add to this game. Getting closer to the surface. Yeah, we are, but we also use some more ammo. Just saying. Don't like running low on bullets. Definitely don't like running low on bullets. What's next? Oh, hey, friend. I'm wondering if we are in some kind of Russian facility, because that looks like Russian writing. Well. Come on. There we go, he's dead. You kind of make that weird death sound when they die. It's the only way to know that they're actually dead. Oh, we've got a Twitcher. Hey, friend. Welcome to the party, pal. Oh, God. That was awkward. That was really awkward. We've only got 21 bullets left, too. All right, well, the Twitch is leading the way. Did anybody else leave ammo in here for us? It'd be pretty nice of you if you did. Twitcher, what about you, buddy? No. He's got nothing. Seriously, dude, you couldn't have left us with anything. It's a single pack of hang on bullets. That would have been quite pleasant. No. Oh, another Twitcher. Shit. Hate these guys. Oof. Right. So that's the way we need to go. Is there anything in this room? Apart from death. Oh, yep, there's this absolute unit here. Uh, eat the pills. See if we can just blast him back into oblivion. Oh, God. Well, that worked, but he took like 18 rounds. Was it worth... Oh. Was that worth it? Yeah, I don't think so. Is that freaking tyrant staring at us in the face? Ugh. Anything good in here, though? Ah, pills. Ah, uh, pills. I mean, pills are cool, but... I'd rather have... some more ammo. Actually, considering how far we are through this, we'll probably drop this AR back. And, of course, we can't because it's equipped. Right, yeah, we can drop the AR back, actually. And grab the shotty. Uh, is that a good idea? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, we've got ammo for the shotty, so... I think that probably would be a good trade. Right, anything else? Anything else at all? Lydia, are you sure? Pissed off if we have left supplies, but... I mean, she's not the most observant character out there. But I guess we shouldn't be too hard on her. She is in a rather unfortunate situation. And it is bloody dark in this place. So there is that. I suppose, really, we should be thankful that she managed to find a torch. I know she had one on her gun in the first chapter, but... <laughs> Maybe she took it off the other gun when she dropped it. Yes. Yes, that'll do. That makes absolutely no sense at all. Love it. Right, we've got zombies. We've got zombies and twitchers. You know what? Oh, good. Good. <laughs> absolutely wonderful. Right, let's just hope for the best with the freaking handgun. Rapidly dwindling handgun. Oof. 
That was close. That was actually really close. Has anybody been kind enough to leave us some more bullets along the way? Anybody at all thought about doing that for poor old Lydia here? I'm so close. Just a few more rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, girl. We know. Do our best to not die. Especially as I don't think I've saved it either. Coming a bit of a bad habit, that. Okay. But then these chapters are very short, as I've said before. All right. Now. Okay. Pretty sure this is a bad room. <laughs> Come on. Are you coming my way, sir? Don't think you are. Sound like you're jerking off in the corner. Ah, right, yeah. This is the problem. We've got these absolute units here. Huh. Put him down pretty efficiently. I say so myself. Right, Lydia. Not bad, girl. Not bad. We'll make a Jill Valentine out of you yet. Oof. Oof. Very nice. You're our Amazon, Lydia. You are our Amazon. Right. So, where was that other room? It wasn't this way, was it? There is something here. Just a poison zombie. That's fine. I can handle a poison zombie. Hopefully. Any goodies in here? Really? Probably shouldn't have come back into this room because there's sweet FA here. God damn it, Lydia. Should have told me there was nothing in here. Fucked us. What have we got left? I think we've we've rinsed the magnum dry. That's for sure. But do we? Yeah. We really don't have much. We've got a little bit of magnum left. We've got a little bit no, we've got no magnum left. We've got no a little bit of handgun left. We've got some grenades, but the grenades are literally useless. Okay. Right, we could potentially have used that item box if we unlocked it earlier, which we didn't. Okay. Fuck these guys off straight away. Don't need to fight them. I love this. Oh, got another twitcher. That's fine. You can handle the fucking twitchers. Come to mama. Oh, God. Oof. Warning. That's fine. Okay. Any goodies around? Actually, I think this is it. Yes, there's bullets. Oh. There's bullets, but it's the end. Curious. Lydia's odyssey through the underground laboratory haunted her. The history of abuse towards the specimens and test subjects was horrific. The outbreak may have given some sort of sick justice to these monsters. Uh, but in the end, it didn't really matter. With the gas mains disabled, her passage back to the upper manor level was clear. She still heard the howls of the damned behind her, but the door was bolted and should hold for a bit. She slowly worked her way through the remaining underground tunnels ahead of her, unsure of what was coming to kill her next. Oh dear. After going up several floors, she finally saw working lights again. 
power on this floor appeared to be restored, even if there was a bit of flickering in the fixtures. Being able to see ahead of her was a relief. Until she saw the gore, the walls were covered with the remains of the previous inhabitants. The outbreak clearly had spread to these levels. Mm -hmm. She had to keep moving if there was any hope of survival. She readied her remaining weapons and stepped through the next passage. The horde before her was immense. Close to a hundred monstrosities were milling around in the large room ahead. She knew her death was at hand to be continued. Oof. Chapter 2 complete. Result. Rank D. Difficulty. Normal. Kills. 52. Healing items used. 5. Shots fired. 442. Total saves. 0. Mm. Okay. Lydia blasted the face off a monstrosity right in front of her with her shotgun. The crowd of monsters before her was vast and the noise alerted them to her presence. She kept firing and down several more before the retreating before retreating back through the entranceway, but nowhere to run. The door leading back to the laboratory locked when she entered and the horde was pouring in through the only other passageway. She looks around, sealing for a vent or pipe to grab. There was nothing. Two more monstrosities charged her, and she threw the empty shotgun at the first, then downed them with a few remaining rifle rounds. The rifle that we don't have. The only way out was through a grating on the floor. It was small. She had to leave her equipment there in the hallway. She couldn't take ammo with her so she emptied it into the oncoming crowd corpses made a makeshift barricade and slowed their assault lydia threw all of her equipment onto the ground and shimmied into the vent mm -hmm. she landed in a pitch black room filling around the walls she found a knob <laughs> I'm 34, I'm 34, I'm 34, and an exit. It emptied into a reasonably sized supply room. She quickly barricaded the door behind her and started searching for supplies. Things were going from bad to worse. She was going to die if she didn't get the hell out of it. Hmm. Indeed. So, chapter three, here we are. Well, 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 well. Tunnels above the laboratory facility. 11.01 p.m. Fight your way out of the nightmare. Well, we got a knife. I mean, yay, yeah, right? Oh, God. That's just way too slow to be used. Autopsy report. Dr. Carlson was the attend... Was attending on... Was the attending on one of the specimen... Wait, What? Dr. Coulson was the attending on one of the specimens last week. After it was exposed to both the beta and gamma fluoride supplements, there was a rapid reduction in brain level function. The specimens immediately ceased function and fell to the ground. The strange outcome was through a uh, strange outcome through though was the skin began to decompose rapidly and eventually faded into the ether. We saw a minor case of this with another specimen a few months back, but this event consumed the entire corpse. We're going to continue to monitor it in the underground testing chamber. Keeping the temperature low will allow us to continue understanding the effects of the decomposition. Mmm, you silly bastard. It's a tarp covering more supplies. Oh, why don't we cut the tarp off, have a look and see... Ooh what supplies we can actually find sunlight deprived plant There's a lot of plants down here supplies and oil filled generators why do they have all of this here what do you think Lydia they have it all here uh, in case things go south and to be self sufficient but I thought that was obvious but you know that's just me we have oh Hang on, but unfortunately, we're back to our basic. God. Hello. 
Hey buddy, allow me to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Gun. He likes your meat. Oh, shit. Well, that's fine. Two Zeds instead of one. Double the fun. Please don't block my light, dude. We'll take the painkillers. Might come in handy. Right, let's get the heck. On 25 minutes already? Our time together is so fleeting. Ooh. Interesting. Come on, baby. She's had enough. Got a floor cooler as well. Autopsy report two. When the remains were further examined three days later, a putrid smell was noted by the researchers. It didn't fit with the typical decomposition results from human flesh. It was almost something different entirely. The airborne virus caused this infection seems to fundamentally redefine the molecular structure, where in turn modifies how decomposition happens. It's odd. Eerily metallic in smell, but not like copper or blood. Weeks and months of observation are necessary. Take them. Good now. I don't really want to fight that guy on the floor. More of these containment cylinders. Yes, there are. More bullets. You know, these crawler guys surely do get a wiggle on. It's definitely move of the quickness, that's for sure. <laughs> Fucking Speedy Gonzales. Hey, it's alright. He's just a normal Zed. That's fine. Come on, Lydia. Hold the line. Come get me. Get oh, fuck. Alright. There's always more, Lydia. There's always more. Ooh. Oh, it's so satisfying when you hear the head splodge. Anything? Anything at all? Nope. Need some bullets. Oh. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, ladies and gentlemen. Ask and you shall receive. Bullets. We like our bullets in these parts. I'm going to call this game Eat Lead. Ah, but there already is a game called Eat Lead. And I've never played it. Ah, looks like we have our shotgun back. Some more Zeds too. Oh, I can hear that. That gentleman sounded like he was a little bit further off. And the knockback on the pistols were ridiculous. Oh, we got more. My God. It's what you call a target rich environment. The only problem is the enemies really are bloody quiet, aren't they? Yeah, we we'll take the shotgun. Wow, three of them stacked up. Dude. Okay. Ah, bullets. Yes, we... Fuck yeah, we want bullets. Because we're kind of... Oh, no. Destination fucked with that. Just drop that down. Don't need those just yet. We're going to get rid of the knife as well. We'll hold on to the shotty because ammo is not exactly abundant just yet. That'll probably change. Right, we've got two doors. That lock looks fairly intricate. Okay. I'm actually out of time. So I'm going to call this one here, guys. When we come back, we're going to continue exploring the upper floors. I'm enjoying this. This is fun. We're pretty far through the game now i know we're on the third chapter there is only four chapters and the final chapter is actually really 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 short um so we are a good chunk through it anyway i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching as always guys and as always 